The oxygen minimum layer is also found in the mesoplagic zone. It's found at about 1,600 feet. Um, and what it is, is it is a layer of the ocean where there is pretty much no oxygen, which is why it gets its name, the oxygen minimum layer. So it literally has pretty much zero oxygen. Um, and here's why. At the depths, there is still enough animals here uh, that are doing cellular respiration, and cellular respiration is a process that requires oxygen. Um, and there's still enough food here for those animals to eat that there's still quite a bit of cellular respiration occurring at this level of the water. There is also bacterial decay going on at this level uh, because there's food, like detritus, dead stuff, marine snow that's being de decomposed by bacteria. And those bacteria uh, and that process of decomposition are going to be using up oxygen as well. So they are going to be using up lots of oxygen that are in the water. And so you get this layer at about 1,600 feet in which there's pretty much no oxygen left because it's all been used up. So copy this down, and then I'm going to switch the slide to the next one and show you a picture and explain this. So here's this picture. Uh, this top layer, this is the epipelagic zone. And in this top layer of water, you have enough light for photosynthesis. So you've got organisms, primary producers, that are putting oxygen into the water. Okay, and you're also at the surface, so you've got like oxygen that's able to come into the water through the surface from the atmosphere. And you do have lots of animals that are living up here, and they're doing cellular respiration, and you also have a lot of decomposition going on. But because you are at the surface, and you've got things putting oxygen back into the water, pretty much all of the oxygen that gets taken out by these processes get replaced okay, by photosynthesis or by like waves crashing and bubbles and oxygen dissolving into the water from the atmosphere. As you go down, down to your lake into the mesoplagic zone, these little black dots here on the right, these are representing like the organic matter, so like the food. Um, and so as you get down here, Okay, there's still, I mean, quite a bit of food. There's lots of epiplagic, but there's still quite a bit of food. Um, and so you, you do have respiration and decomposition that are going on. There's enough food to support, you know, several, lots of animals. Um, but, so you do still have cellular respiration and decomposition going on. It's at a lesser degree than at the surface. But notice what you don't have. You don't have a way for oxygen to get back into the water. So at this level, all of this this food and stuff and cellular respiration decomposition is going on and it's going to be sucking out all of the oxygen out of the water at that level. Okay? As you go down deeper, you get less organic matter, which means there's less cellular respiration, less decomposition going on. So any water that sinks down to this depth is going to retain most of the oxygen that it had when it left the surface because it's going to be, um, there's less cellular respiration, less decomposition going on. But any, any water that sinks down to here um, is going to get all of that oxygen taken out. Does that make sense? So it's called the oxygen minimum layer. It's about 1,600 feet in the water. Um, and you do still have animals that live in that area where there's almost no oxygen, which is kind of crazy. The animals that live here, they will have like special specialized gills. Their gills will be absolutely ginormous to help to try and get whatever oxygen is left. And then they're hemoglobin in their cell in their blood actually is designed to work under these super low oxygen conditions. So they're able to suck out all of the oxygen that is left um, in the water and use it. So you still get things that live here, which is crazy. All right, so that's the end of the mesoplagic zone. We're now going to look at the deep sea. So everything below a thousand meters deep. 